this is um, <coughs> tutorial four, something like that. Okay. But let anyway. Last time we left off, um, we <laughs> the last time we left off, we uh, partitioned our hard drive. So now our hard drive has our two um, Linux partitions on it. We have a swap and we have a um, six gig that we're going to put our file system. Okay, so I have to go back in through SSH and do that or get back into the machine. I already explained this. If you're not familiar with it, check out the previous tutorial and figure out what I'm doing. Um, just erasing my keys again so I can get back into my remote machine. Okay. This is the address to my remote machine and I'm going to go there. start. I think that's a... I don't know if that's the right password. Let it be the right password. Let it be... Alright, great. Okay, so now we're back into our machine. Now this is where we're going to take off. Um, <coughs> I'm assuming you have the live CD. 6.2. Nothing else is going to work for this. So you need to get the live CD. Learn it from scratch.org. Um, and I'm assuming that you're going to follow me with the PDF. So I'll be naming off page references to where I'm at, and you follow me. Not really going to go into a whole bunch of detail um, about specific packages and what they do. You can read that, but I'll give you the, uh, the gist of the package. So, that's where we are. Make the screen a little bigger. Okay. And we're going to CD, CD up to root. This is our, oop, this is our directory structure, directory tree of the live CD. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a folder within mount, and we're going to mount our partition into there, and dump all the packages from inside of LFS sources inside of our mounted uh, partition that we're going to build, the partition you just wiped out. Okay. So let's format um, our first partition now. We'll make it ext2 fs, um, and we'll say journal, which makes it ext3. That we need to put our file system on, and we'll call it hda1. Hit enter. We'll let that go through and do its thing. So we've already um, partitioned the hard drives, or the hard drive, and uh, now we're formatting the new partitions we created in previous tutorial. Okay, so now we have a file system uh, partition and we're going to say make swap on dev hda2. Swap is made. Now, um, the swap is the 512 megabyte partition. So those are set. Say VLKid. We can see here that we, um, we got them. Okay, they're there. They're just there. Nothing's happening to them yet. Um, we're going to say, first we need to export a variable called LFS. We have set that variable equal to this pathway. This pathway is in the mount folder and the LFS uh, folder. Okay. That's what we want to do. You can check and see if that's stuck. If we say echo dollar sign LFS. Okay. I'm going to keep this path true. Um, uh, that's where you're going to mount your ext3 file system so you can actually dump packages into it and build it. Okay, so you want to make sure that's that's correct. Alright, now we'll say make directory Oop. make directory preserve permissions we'll say LFS. Okay, so now if we clear and we list our mount point is here off the live CD. And if we CD into mount, we'll find that we have this is our folder we just created. Okay. And inside of here is where we're, we're going to mount our ext3 partition and start to build. Okay. Um, we can also say sbin swap on. Swap on dev 
HDA2. Okay. Right. You can check and see if that is swapped on now. Right here. Okay. That's our EXT2 partition, our swap partition. We just brought that up to. Okay. So it was 512 megabytes, but uh, I, some of it was allotted for something else. Um, it's just how I've disparated it, so we're left to 488 megs. It's not a big deal how many megs, even if you want to swap. If you don't want to swap partition, that's fine, but I put a swap partition on this one. Okay? So that's taken care of. That was all on page 25-ish, something like that. And now we want to mount verbose um, type ext3 and our ext3 partition is a dev hda1 we want to mount that to our new mount point which is here okay, and you can see that's mounted now on where we just created uh, exported and created the lfs variable and you can check and see if that's mounted by typing in mount command and you'll see that you'll have a new mount down here okay so that's cool that's cool everybody else is cool um, on page 27, clear this out. We need to make two folders. We need to make a uh, make a directory called V inside of the mount path LFS. We'll say tools, and we need to make a sources directory. And do that now, and they're both created inside of where we're gonna go. Um, which is on the hard drive. Um, after we do that, we need to change the permissions of the sources directory so we can write to it. Let's say LFS sources the permissions are changed and we want to link the tools directory that we just created. LFS tools. We want to link that back to the live CD. Okay. again now we see that we have a tools link here okay this is going to be linking back to the live CD we need the live CD because it's got all the resources and everything that we need to build the packages that we're going to dump inside of here okay 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 now we got that done um, let's go and copy all the packages and that's in LFS sources. We're going to say all. Okay. And we're going to copy them to the LFS sources directory. Okay. And let it do its thing. It's going to take a couple minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to stop the video. And as you know, I don't have a button. Um, stop the video here, and I'm going to pick it up on the next one, and we'll go ahead and we'll do some more fun stuff, and get ready to really build our Linux from scratch.